A record number of participants will hit the road tomorrow morning for the fifth annual Loop the Lake Festival. Our Josh Peterson shows us how safety is a key focus for this year. For the past five years, a record number of cyclists have geared up for the annual Loop the Lakes Festival. Participants had a chance to check in today, and each year the event has drawn more participants than expected. A success that is credited to the overall event. You know, it's, it's really inclusive, and even for people who haven't been out on their bikes training a lot, they can take advantage of all the stops. While committee members were busy setting up the stops along the 17-mile route, many had one thing on their mind. They're all hoping for good weather, especially with so many expected to participate. Looks like get here early, get started, enjoy the time, relax, watch the weather, and you'll get it done. Either rain or shine, the festival will go on, creating another need for safety. Around the route, motorists will expect detours and will need to pay attention. And one of the biggest concerns we have, of course, is, is sharing the road with, with these vehicles. Uh, the preparation that's been taking place in order to avoid any conflicts and make it easier for the traveling public. But safety also applies to those participating in the event, which includes practicing proper bike etiquette. They're going to have a lot of other bicyclists around them, and so they need to be aware of others around them when they stop or when they start. With a rolling start expected to begin Saturday morning around 7.30 a.m., both participants and committee members are looking forward to another good ride. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If you are interested in biking the 17-mile loop, you can still register at the starting point at Lake Bemidji South Shore parking lot tomorrow morning. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.